I'll tell you one thing I didn't get for Christmas, and that was my brain back. Hi guys, this is Connie. I completely forgot that my mom had accidentally broken my old uh, spot where I would put my phone, my little holder. And uh, she did buy me one for Christmas, but I haven't installed it. And it's like quarter to 10 right now. I'm out getting my game check-ins done for the day because I'm not missing my streak. I'm probably 148 days in on this everyday game check-in streak. And I would like to do my best not to miss it or mess it up. So, that's a thing. But I am so incredibly brain dead that I was like, I need to do this before I go home. Because I know once I get home, I'm not going to want to do it. I was potentially going to do a Connie Reads. But I got busy and now I'm tired. And so I will possibly do a Connie Reads. Obviously tomorrow's Tuesday, so that's when the reading goes up anyway. But I wanted to do a very special Christmas read. And um, I went to go do check-ins. And I went to go link up a bunch of things on Ingress and dropped some things at one stop and forgot to pick them up before I went from one location to another location and now I'm going to go back and pick those up because I don't want them to either I forget what happens either somebody's gonna come by and pick them up if they're out playing the game highly unlikely because it's 10 o'clock at night at Christmas time and uh, or in like so many hours or so many days, it actually uh, disappears. It completely gets recycled back into the game system. And I'm like, uh, I'll use those things instead. Uh, what happened today now that I'm back at this location and I need to wind this up so I can go home and hang out with Mustachio? I got grumpy a lot today. Um, I noticed that I just had a difficult time dealing with stress and I don't know if that's just the influx of my family being around and I'm used to my family and even though they only live like 10 minutes away from me they drive me nuts and in a best in the best way possible if you have lots and lots of family they uh, they drive me nuts in good ways and in bad ways and I love spending time with them and I just slacked a lot. I feel like I'm still recovering from November, which is odd to say because it usually doesn't take me that long to recover from things, but this is the first year uh, since we had the baby. It was baby's first Christmas. Um, I didn't get, a part of me thinks somebody's going to be like, well, what did you get the baby? And I'm going, life, you're welcome because she's less than one year old. So part of me goes, she's not gonna remember this. Um, excuse me. Truth be told, I did buy her a stuffed animal, but because we did, excuse me, Thanksgiving, Christmas with Mustachio's side of the family back in November, I kind of forgot about it. And the same thing went with most of the gifts that we collected for the family. I had to get up today and while Mustachio watched, watched the baby, I ended up washing the baby. Um, I had to collect various different kinds of gifts because I just was like, I don't know if I have gifts for everybody. I'm sure I've picked up things throughout the, the, the year, but I completely was oblivious to the idea. And uh, we did get Christmas done. We did have a good get together, um, true to form. I love my parents and their house and the fact that they welcome everybody in including other people's pets there are now like there are three dogs living in the house and one that comes to visit visit on occasion because my uh, family will have their friends over at various times and uh, so there'll be like four dogs over at the house at any given point and one of them helped themselves to the Christmas ham after everything was all said and done so that was a legitimate thing it wasn't just what happens in the movies um, it got real cold it's only 31 degrees right now and uh, the baby 
is having really bad diaper rash and a lot of that is brought on by some constipation which I'm sure is TMI but it's a baby and lots of people are gonna have lots of opinions which I'm not really concerned about right now except to know that when she cries I keep I don't know this is where I'm losing my brain function is I know that typically when she cries she's hungry and we're also trying to incorporate water so she can stay hydrated and maybe everything within her tiny little intestines will soften up and uh, on the way home from going on, on our way home back from grandmother's house essentially she started to just cry and lose her mind and it made me frantic because I was like honey where is this honey where is that and I felt bad and so I've had to do a lot of apologizing to Mustachio because he is fantastic he got me earrings for Christmas and I love the story behind them because it's not a, it's not even just the fact that he got me jewelry that's beautiful is that these were actually a congratulatory gift option that he had for dedication to where he works um, he's now been at his job for over 10 years and so they said congratulations here select a a, a prize from this list of things and I mean he could have gotten things for himself there was like a headset he could have gotten for his gaming system and I was like you know it's okay you can treat yourself and then of course I was like ooh shiny things and uh, just he held on to it and uh, completely tried to make sure I didn't pay attention to it but I, I kind of knew about it but like everything else that's happened recently I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off so I was pleasantly surprised when he uh, gave it to me in uh, for Christmas and I love having a pair of earrings that are incredibly beautiful that are not gonna fall out of my ears um, but yeah I just he's been phenomenal he's always pretty phenomenal and uh, definitely Nobody is perfect. No marriage is perfect. No person on the planet is perfect. I'm not perfect, and I know he's not perfect, but um, I thank God that he's like the perfect match for me, and there, we definitely bring out the best in each other, and kind of, you know, our opposite ways of thinking definitely help each other grow, and sometimes it's not pretty, and... Uh, it was, certainly was not my finest day. So there was a lot of apologizing and a lot of just being grateful and thankful for him because he is awesome. <sighs> I'm going to game and go to bed. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. Happy holidays. I enjoy the holiday season. What's your favorite part of the holiday season? I do like getting gifts, but I think for people who typically work really hard throughout the week and getting an opportunity to just rest and uh, recoup in this cold weather uh, has been probably one of the best things about just the holiday season as it is. So I'd love to look forward to your comments. And uh, yeah, be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you. And have a great night. This is why I do these vlogs, because I keep losing my brain. I have like two functioning brain cells, and now just the habits are starting to kick in. And of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most. And even though I'm not really getting my brain function back for Christmas, hopefully it will be here for the new year. And at that point, I have to wonder, what kind of daily videos do you want to see? Are these interesting enough? Should I try to do some other format? I'm not sure. I don't want to edit though, because I'm a lazy YouTuber. But I look forward to a conversation if you guys want to have it. Yes. Good night. Goodbye.